guys, today I want to talk about the dramatic style icon, Leah Cabetti. Leah Cabetti is an amazing person inside and out. She has her own foundation, which focuses on maternal health in Africa. She's also a designer and she has her own ethical clothing brand named Lem Lem, which creates opportunities for artisans in Ethiopia. And she is an actress and she's known for her movie called Desert Flower. And lastly, she's also a supermodel and she styles herself so beautifully all the time and the way that she styles herself really shows her unique beauty just like her actions do so I really hope you guys enjoy watching this video without further ado let's just get into it if you google image Leah Kebedi, you can see that she wears her own dramatic lines so often and even when she doesn't wear dramatic lines, she wears lines that really complement her so well, even when she borrows from other body types. So for those of you who might be a little bit frustrated that dramatics can only wear blazers basically, we'll take a look at all kinds of different looks here. So there's something in here for everyone hopefully and I hope you'll enjoy it. Some elements of dramatic are a long line of the same color, crisp fabrics that have really clean vertical lines and some angularity as well. Minimal detail too. Dramatics look amazing in some minimal detail. So you can see on the left there, Leah has a pretty crisp top with the collar creating some geometrics near her face. And then she also has that long line of the same color, white in this case, and it looks so perfect on her. In the middle, we have her wearing a blazer that is also slightly oversized and I've talked about this before dramatic lines are slightly oversized so that blazer in the middle looks just right on her and dramatic lines are also long so you can see on the right she looks amazing in that tunic that creates those long clean lines and some geometrics near her face with that neckline I love these two dresses on her because you can see that clean detailing, very minimal, and the stiff fabrics really create a long clean line and it looks perfect on her. And you know, you can see that dress on the left is obviously a little bit of a red carpet look, but if you make that dress a bit shorter like on the right, you could wear that out and look amazing as a dramatic. Next up, we also have some crisp fabrics and for warmer weather, you could easily wear something like this and you can see that on the left, that fabric is crisp so it creates clean lines and it also has some geometric detailing and it just looks so fresh on her and it's so clean on her and on the right, we have some, again, some clean lines and we have some geometrics for the stripes and the fabric is quite crisp, it creates those clean lines and her cuffs are not fitted. So that's another dramatic element is that those cuffs are not fitted. But you don't always have to overthink it as a dramatic. You can see on the left, she looks amazing with just her hair pulled back and some minimal detailing and a pretty minimal look because minimal detail looks so amazing on a dramatic. It's really quite easy to just throw on a top that has some clean lines and you're good to go. And on the right, of course, we have some asymmetry that also looks amazing on dramatics. Those trench coats that create a long, clean vertical line with some oversized geometric lapels that looks so awesome and you can see in the middle that's quite a statement jacket and that looks amazing on her and she also looks amazing in some monochromatic looks like in the middle is just perfect with all gray all kinds of different gray colors or any other color that you want to wear head to toe that would look amazing on you and on the right she is incorporating just a touch of flamboyant natural in that case because the lines of those pants Pants are a little bit more wide and Leah's lines are narrow and long and flamboyant natural is wide and long and so it's going to make Leah look a little bit more dainty because that width of the pant is going to contrast with the narrowness of her bones and sort of make her angularity look a bit more dainty so she looks pretty cute there on the far right because of that 
And for warmer weather, a man-tailored t-shirt just looks perfect on any dramatic. Those really crisp fabrics, clean lines, it looks really good on her. And on the left, she also has that same or similar color from top to bottom. So she has a long vertical line in that look and she looks great there. It doesn't always have to be too complicated because dramatics look so good with that minimal detail. And on the right, she also looks amazing and she's incorporating some elements of flamboyant natural there so you can see how narrow her bones look in comparison to that unconstructed slightly oversized top with a little bit of asymmetry there at the shoulder too and that looks really good and if she wants to look a little bit more chiseled and really bring out the angularity of her bone structure she can actually go for some elements of flamboyant gamine as well and you can see in these three we have some flamboyant gamine elements but it's never over the top so she really knows what she's doing she just incorporated one or two flamboyant gamine elements and she looks really very fun there very avant-garde and i think it looks amazing on her so let's talk about the flamboyant gamine elements in each of these looks so on the left we have a mixture of different lines so we have some pretty boxy shape on top and a pretty thin shape on the bottom and we also have the shorter lines of the jacket contrasting her longer lines there in the middle we have some color blocking which is a gamine element in general and some contrasting cuffs as well as that higher neckline and then on the far right we have again the boxy shape and the short lines of that top meaning that the the top is shorter it's not a long top and so it contrasts with her longer narrow bones and that looks pretty edgy on her it looks pretty cool on her but she didn't incorporate too many flamboyant gamine elements so it doesn't look separate from her and she just looks amazing in all of these if you are a dramatic and you are not necessarily identifying with the more edgy look, then you can definitely look to Leah for some amazing examples of some almost boho inspired types of looks for dramatics as well. So these looks, so the one on the left and the one in the middle, I would say are both primarily dramatic. So we have some pretty crisp fabrics that create clean lines. And on the left, we also have some geometrics there. And on the far right, I would say it is just a tiny bit more incorporating just a little bit of flamboyant natural maybe a little bit of natural because that dress looks like it has a bit more texture to it and it looks like it has some unconstructedness to the lines the lines are not these clean smooth straight lines but the dress in the middle is a bit more of a clean smooth straight vertical line and that's what is more dramatic about that dress in the middle but on the right she also looks amazing and she again looks like she is a little bit more maybe a softer on the right because that is what flamboyant natural lines do to the dramatic bone structure because of the width of the flamboyant natural lines they can create that kind of delicateness in the dramatic lines and the dramatic bone structure on the left we have primarily flamboyant natural again i would call it flamboyant natural you can say there are some elements of flamboyant gamine there because there is some slight color blocking and the pants are short it's a little bit of everything but still it's minimal detail the look has primarily clean lines so i think it looks amazing on her and really very casual and in the middle i would say that's primarily dramatic there with the plunging v-neck and the one long line of the same color and some clean lines and that looks amazing on her and on the far right I wanted to include this image because, you know, we're not always going out and if you're in that situation where you want to look amazing as a dramatic but you don't necessarily want to put too much effort into your look then a monochromatic look is going to be your way to go it's going to be amazing and really low effort choose any color and just go for a monochromatic head to toe and it's already going to look stunning on you it doesn't really matter the specific pieces because that monochromatic look is going to create that long vertical line of the same color and it's going to look great so you can see how great monochromatic looks are on Leah. You can see on the left, she looks very chic, very sophisticated. And, you know, again, you can do any color for monochromatic. It really doesn't matter. So she looks pretty cool on the left and in the middle she is doing something that is a very very dramatic set of lines there so you can see how that 
very stiff jacket, those really sharp angles on the jacket, the monochromatic look in the middle there, and everything about it is going to bring out some softness in Leah because of how dramatic those dramatic lines are. And you can see how she almost looks like a dramatic classic in comparison to those extreme dramatic lines. And then on the far right, again, super amazing, super easy. So just a monochromatic look, black top, black bottom, and you are good to go. And then you might think to yourself, well, you know, this is Leah Kebedi, after all. She is a supermodel. Isn't it that she just looks good in everything? Well, I want to show you these two images. Here are two images of Leah not wearing her own lines, and these are in photo shoots. So you can see on the left, she has a little bit of everything there, maybe some classic elements, maybe some soft gamine elements. It's it's hard to really say, but she really doesn't even look like herself there on the left. Her beauty is really completely lost there. She looks pretty average there, and I was even so surprised to find that image of her that I had to double check that it was her, and that is her. And you can see just how frankly plain she looks there without wearing her own lines. And on the right, it's a little bit too much flamboyant gamine elements. It's a little bit too much on her. So it looks pretty separate from her. And again, it makes her look sort of plain in comparison. And it really doesn't do her that many favors. doesn't bring out her unique beauty like her other looks do. And the next thing I want to talk about is curly hair. So curly hair is something that a lot of you guys ask me about for the lines. So for example, if you're a dramatic and you have curly hair, what should you do? And you can see how the curly hair in both of these images does not really flatter Leah at all. And it kind of makes her look fall apart even more, really. And it's not flattering on her. So how can you wear curly hair as a dramatic? We can see here, Leah looks amazing with some curly hair, even curlier than in the other two photos, and the texture of the hair is quite soft as well. So what is really going on? So the key to hair with kibby is that the outer shape of the hair should match the geometry of your bone structure. That's the, the general sort of idea. So in this case, we have a hairstyle that even though it's curly, it still creates some geometric outline and that's really the key. So you can see I drew those little lines there and you can see that there is a geometric shape to the hair and that picks up on the geometry of her cheekbone and it looks absolutely stunning on her. So if you are a dramatic, dramatic classic or any type of body type that has a little bit more yang and you need that angularity to your hair, your hair absolutely does not have to be straight. It does not have to be curly or any which way. The outer shape of the hair is is really what matters most here and you can see how amazing this looks on her. And finally, some evening looks. I just had to include these because they look so amazing. So you can see the plunging v-neck on the far left looks so stunning on her and the slightly, I guess that fabric might be uh, leather or some metallic type fabric that looks so good on her. And in the middle, that is probably my favorite, just a minimal dress and some minimal makeup. I really wouldn't change a thing. So that dress is gonna create that long line of the same color and it just looks so elegant and so perfect on her. And on the far right, we have some more dramatic elements there. So some asymmetry, a clean long vertical line, and some geometrics that the, the dress creates as well. It just looks perfect on her. So I love all three of these two. So that's all I have to say. Thank you so much for watching and let me know what you think. Leave a comment, leave some questions and discussion below and I will leave some links to my consults down below as well. And I hope you enjoyed watching this and I'll talk to you next time.